So, good morning YouTube. It is I, Danielle, better known as Danielle the Happy Medium. And in this video, we're going to look at, in the Fear series, Bump in the Night. For all those who have spoken to me about these things, i.e. the general public, i.e. my students, and i.e. the mediums, the biggest question that is asked of me on many occasions is, why does things go bump in the night? Why is it that doors open and close by themselves? Why is it that I hear things, but only at night, Danielle? So the biggest, well, the first way we can sort of break this down is let's go to the medium. So for the beginner who is just starting out on their mediumship path, we have opened up and we have become aware of another sensory that is only of the spirit world. We have our sensories here to the earth plane, but when we open up and become a medium or become that more sensitive, which could be a psychic, we have become accustomed or used to using other senses that are not of the physical world. So when we first start out, what will happen is, is our sensories will be heightened. We will be very much more in the spiritual world or in the what I call a sensitive world other than the physical world, which is the world in which that we live in. And what happens with the beginner or the newbie medium is, is, is that they have not got control of their sensories or they have not got control of their sensitivity. And what will happen is, 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 is we will be constantly tuned in to the spirit world and unable to differentiate between what is ours and what is the spirit world's. So for them who ask me what goes bump in the night or why things are bumping in the night, what we also need to remember here is the Buddha medium is, 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 is that because our sensories are heightened and because we're living sort of more in the spiritual world than we are here to the earth plane, what we are aware of is that at night things are a lot quieter. So our sensories are we will have walked ourselves, thought ourselves into the spirit world, which will ultimately have us clicked into the spirit world and not here to the physical world. So what tends to happen is, is, is we become aware of things more because it's quieter. Through the day we're very busy with our general day-to-day -day lifestyle. So we're not so much connected into the spirit world because we're busy with work or children or, or whatever it may be there. So what tends to happen is, is, is when we quieten down for the evening, our mind is becoming very sort of quiet because the day-to-day -day tasks have been done. What tends to happen is, is, is we will start to, because we our senses are heightened and we're living in the spiritual world and not in the physical world because you're a new being, because you've got this new set of sensories, it's all sort of go, 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 go. What tends to happen is, is when the quiet of the world of the world in which we live in quietens down, our mind automatically thinks over into the spiritual world. So we then become very aware of the noises in the night because the mind is quieter, the spirit world can sort of draw close that little bit more. And what tends to happen is, is because we're constantly in this altered state, we don't know the difference between what's ours and what's not. So for the Buddha medium, how do you stop this? Because ultimately, these are the things that people ask me more than anything in this world. I wanted to stop, how do I stop? What will happen first and foremost for the Buddha medium is, 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 is fear will set in. And fear will ultimately stop that in its tracks. Why? Because the conscious mind will automatically reject anything that it doesn't like. Why? Because we have in our in our physical body what we call flight or, flight or fight. Now, what the mind will normally do is if we're in a situation which is one that will maybe where we're going to be attacked or something's going to happen to us here to the earth, we will either push against that or we will run away. There's always there's only two options. So what happens is, is, is when we are working with the spirit world and our sensories are heightened, the conscious mind will kick in. It will make, make you think that there's something to fear there because of the bumps in the night. And then what will happen is, is the mind will automatically shut it down. It will shut it down and it will reject it. What will then happen is, 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 is you start to want to progress your mediumship or move your mediumship forward. What then tends to happen is, is the mind doesn't like it because it's built in a trigger which is making you fear-based because of the bumps in the night. So what we need to get in place first and foremost with the medium when we're first ever starting out is the ethics behind mediumship and how to control your mediumship because controlling your mediumship allows you to have two separate lives, your mediumship life and your walking world life. So how do we do that? So what we first need to do is, is, is we need to find our guides. If you haven't already seen this, check out the guide section. 
once we get the guides in place we need to be getting some boundaries in place boundaries are important they allow us to live a normal life and walking world life and a spiritual life there what we need to do is, is once we've got these guides in place, we need to be telling them what we would like and what we wouldn't like. Why? Because ultimately we're in control in the spirit world. The spirit world are in control of lots of other things, but when it comes to us and what we want as a, as a medium, we need to be specific with our guides. So I, I say to my guides, when it's bedtime, right, it's bedtime now, this is it, no more, I don't want any disturbances. And that's exactly what I get because one, I put my intention to it. Two, I've spoken to my guides about it. And three, that's what I've told my conscious mind as well. So you have to become very disciplined with your mediumship right from the get-go. There's no good flitting in and out and running in and out and then panicking because what will happen is, is ultimately your mind will shut it all down. So when you're trying to connect, what you will find is there's a constant banging against your conscious mind in order to be able to move forward which that sets in more fear because you can't connect so we as mediums first and foremost before we do anything want to get this in place the reason i say this for is because it's so 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 important for all of the newbies out there it stops hypersensitivity it stops everything getting out of control it stops you getting out of whack it really is vitally vitally important of the ethics and making sure that you have these structures in place from the very beginning before you're even connecting before you're even giving messages before you're even doing anything like that so that is how we would do these things right from the beginning but if for them who are the walking world ordinary person we need to then ask ourselves the question if we're hearing bumps in the night what is it that's making you fear based of the night is it the dark is it the fact that something's gone on within your life that makes you frightened of the dark? Are you frightened of something that may be lurking in the dark? Are you frightened of being attacked in the dark? And this can also move over onto the mediumship movement there as well. We need to be very, very careful as mediums and as humans as to what's triggering you off with the bumps in the night. Why is it that you're frightened of something that's in the dark? What is it that's triggering that off? Where is that memory? And when you find this memory, and it will be there, it's just you will have either shut it out or you've chosen not to look at it because there's some kind of pain, some kind of upset or some kind of fear around it. What you need then to do is, is you need to sit down with yourself in a quiet space and say, can that affect me anymore? Can it bother me anymore? Is it really necessary or can I move from that and move into a better place? If the answers to all them questions are yes, then what you need to be doing is, is taking the small meditations that I'm going to be putting up alongside these fear-based sort of scenarios to help you release that and move that forward there, not only for the medium, but also for the general public also. So in essence, to what things are bumping the night, really it is a fear-based scenario that your mind has built in one because you're hypersensitive and you are you haven't got your structure in place before you started out as a medium or two as a general public you're fearful of something that went on within your life in somewhere in the past and that needs to be addressed in order so that you are not fearful anymore of the things that go bump in the night so i've been danielle better known as danielle a happy medium I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave me some comments in the bottom. Let me know how it resonates for you. I will get that meditation and things up for you there over the next two weeks. And we will get you into a good place. But follow on and watch out for the new upload that's coming up on Monday. And I will see you all very, very soon.